the rapper Flo Rida, or Rida awarded $82.6 million for breach of contract case. This is crazy. Like, this is so much money. Like, so much money. Now, I don't know how much he's actually made over his career, but, yo, <laughs> if I got $82.6 million, uh, I'd have so much fun with that money. So much fun. Miami hip-hop artist Flo Rida, Rida was awarded $82.6 million on Wednesday after a South South, I came to speak. South Florida jury found that the makers of Celsius energy drinks breached a contract with the rapper and singer and tried to hide money from him, which is beyond messed up, right? If you sign a contract with anyone and they don't pay you because they're hiding that money from you, do everything in your power to go after them because they are straight up robbing you. So Florida Florida was getting robbed. He was basically getting bent over and getting taken advantage of by Celsius Energy Drinks. Which, by the way, personally speaking, Celsius Energy Drinks don't really even taste that good, in my opinion. Right, I'm more of like a Red Bull, Rockstar, and Monster Energy drink person. Like Celsius, it's like it's like a sad attempt of making sparkling water into like an energy drink. Like, not really that great. So Florida, whose real name is Tremar Dillard, and his production company Strong Arm Productions, had sued. Boca Raton-based Celsius Holdings Incorporated in Broward County Court in May 2021, claiming that the company had violated the conditions of an endorsement deal. Basically, I helped birth this company, and all we was looking for was some trustworthy people who acted as if they were family, Diller told the Associated Press. And then when it comes down to the success of today, they just forgot about me. Lawyers for Celsius argued in court and in previous filings that the company reached its greatest success after the Flow Rider endorsement deal ended and that other business decisions led to increased sales and stock value. Celsius could still appeal the verdict, but it wasn't immediately clear if they would. Attorneys for the company didn't immediately respond to messages seeking comment from the Associated Press. But here's the thing. If they were to appeal, which I don't think they will, but if they were to appeal, what is to stop Florida and his legal team to try to get even more money from them? Like, what's to stop them from doing that? Probably nothing. So according to this civil complaint, Florida was a brand ambassador for Celsius from 2014 to 2018. During that time, Dillard played an instrumental role in launching a new era for the company's brand development, growth, and expansion, introducing Celsius to millions around the world, the complaint said. Dillard and his attorneys argued that the partnership paved the way for Celsius to grow its product portfolio, which includes adding a powder product and a new product line called Celsius Heat in conjunction with Florida's partnership. The company has consistently sold and collected revenues for its powder form products since then. Attorney John Usto said Florida wanted the 1% ownership he was promised and would still be willing to accept the stock instead of the jury's monetary award. Which, by the way, that goes to show you just how smart Florida actually is, right? Because all these other rappers are straight up morons, right? They spend all of their money on expensive jewelry. They spend all of their money on expensive homes that they can't even afford. They spend all of their money flying out beautiful women so that they can basically clap their cheeks, right? To the point where they end up getting completely broke after a few years of becoming famous. 
but Florida knows that being a part owner of a soaring company or a rising company can change like your life generationally, right? <laughs> I actually like how Florida thinks. That being said, he could still end up using the 86 something like 82.6 million dollars and just stick it into like index funds like the S&P 500 and have it reinvest itself and basically double pretty much every 10 years on average. So he could do that too. So he, Dillard, loved the product and has been a very successful four-year relationship, Osta said. There were some benchmarks. He was supposed to get stock when certain things happened, and there became a dispute about whether those benchmarks had been reached. So that's what this was about. Diller said he continues to drink Celsius products and even owns some stock in the company. He said he'd like to move on from the legal battle and work with the company again in the future. I'm still a owner in the company, Diller said. And when you basically planted the seed for something that is that is successful, you can't help but have unconditional love. Like, what's kind of interesting about this, it actually kind of makes me feel sad for Florida, even though he got awarded this massive payout, because he believed in working with a company to grow the products that he liked with the company. Basically, like, to put it into perspective, let's say that you were talking to a buddy and you basically both agreed, like, hey, like, let's work together to start selling t-shirts together. Let's start, like, a t-shirt company together, right? Where, like, you mainly are, like, the main owner of it, but I'm going to do all the marketing for you. Right, and all I ask is like one percent of the business, right? But I'll do all the marketing. I get paid for that too, but like that would be my focus. And the other person agrees and whatnot, and then you basically get stabbed in the back. Like that really sucks. So I really hope he ends up investing that money well that he gets awarded, whatever it might end up actually being when everything's said and done. Because to me. What I would personally do with $82.6 million in terms of like if I was just randomly awarded that large sum of money, I'd probably put a third into the S&P 500 and have it reinvest into itself and never touch that money. I'd put a third into high dividend index funds or into... U.S. Treasury bonds that will pay me a guaranteed return on my money and potentially use that money to live off. Other one, which would be the last third, right? I would probably put that money more so into maybe real estate. But the only problem with that, there's a lot of hassle with real estate. You got to deal with a lot of stuff. You got to deal with tenants. I mean, you could technically just hire people to do that for you. But I'd either put that other third into real estate or just have a massive, massive cash pile pretty much in the bank account just so that I just never have to really think about cash ever again. Right, which is going to be millions and millions of dollars in cash. So probably just put that into like a high interest savings account or go to like my local credit union or something and sit down with like the managers and all that kind of stuff and be like, hey, I'm willing to put this large sum of money in here if you guys pay me a certain return guaranteed no matter what, every single month. That would be an option too, which you could probably get away with. It's just something to think about, right? But, I mean, $82.6 million is a lot of money. 